everyone, welcome back to Rising Yoga Online. Today we're going to do a short gentle Pilates sequence um, so focusing on your core and your back today. Um, as always, all you need is some space or a mat, some comfy clothes and some water nearby in case you need that. And remembering that everything I say is optional so you know what's best for your body, you make the decision whether you want to do or not do anything. Alright, so to start off we're going to come to stretching our legs out, sitting down on your mat. We're going to flex your feet so toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. I want to sit up nice and tall, so if that means you need to bend your knees to be able to sit up tall, do that. From here, we're going to send arms out to a T, take a big breath in. As you breathe out, we're going to reach right fingertips towards your left little toe. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, reach left fingertips to right little toe. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, right to left. Inhale. Exhale, left to right. Inhale, reaching a little bit further past that little toe each time. <sighs> Imagining you're soaring off that toe, hands gliding past. And coming back through that tall back in between each one. Nice and fast. Let's go for four, three, two, and one more, and relax. Nice work. All right, from here, we're going to shuffle forwards on your mat. Take an inhale, sit up nice and tall, arms and legs out in front. And then as you exhale, slowly letting yourself down. You can use your hands if you need a little bit of a hand. All right, from here, we're going to roll over onto your tummy. Sending arms out in front of you. We're going to take a big breath in. And breathe out, squeezing tummy in towards your spine. As you breathe in, we're going to start to lift your chest up off the mat just a tiny bit, so a little tiny back bend. Pressing shoulders down away from your ears, squeezing belly button in. Looking over your right shoulder, see if you can see your right toes. Look over your left shoulder. Come back to centre, and then lowering down. Beautiful, walk your hands in a little bit closer towards you and a little bit further apart from each other. We're going to go again, so breathing in, we lift up, shoulders down, belly button in, don't have to straighten the elbows if it's too much, and then looking over right shoulder, looking over left shoulder, come back to centre, and lower down. Nice, we'll go one more time, you can leave your hands here, or if you'd like, you can bring them in a little bit closer, and then again, it's inhale, lifting up. Again, don't have to straighten arms if you don't want. Shoulders down away from your belly button in. And looking over right shoulder. Looking over left shoulder. Coming back to centre. And lower down. Beautiful. Roll straight back over onto your back. And we're going to hug your knees in towards your chest and take a gentle rock from side to side. Nice work. All right, we're going to come to your pelvic curls. So lying down on the mat. We're going to bend your knees so feet come down to the mat and arms are going down by your sides. Take an inhale together. As you exhale, we start to lightly tuck your tail under so you feel lower back gently pressing down on the mat. Inhale, we let it go. Exhale, curling under, drop belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, release. Exhale, curling under, close that little gap underneath your lower back. Inhale, let it go. And once more, exhale, curling under and holding it here. Really press that lower back down, squeeze belly button in. Try to maintain this engagement throughout all the exercises that we do. See how you go. Um, all right, we're going to start off with some reverse toe taps. So keeping feet where they are. We're going to take an inhale, lower back down, belly button in. Exhale, we're going to lift your right foot up off the mat. Inhale, we lower it down. Inhale, lift the left foot up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift right. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift left. Exhale, down. Nice. If you want to make it a little harder, walk your feet a little bit further away. 
Keep thinking about pressing that lower back down, squeezing belly button in the whole time. That's the most important part. So exhale as you lift up. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Press that lower back down. A little bit harder still, you can walk the feet a bit further out. Keep pressing that lower back down. Starts to get tricky. Keep squeezing your belly button in. Sigh out of the mouth each time you lift your foot up. And if it's become too much or you notice your back starting to lift up, just walk the feet in a little closer and focus on keeping that back down. Nice, let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice right, so work, hug your knees in towards your chest, take a little rock. Doing well. Okay, we're gonna add on to this a little bit more. So, bringing feet down again to wherever felt good for you. Close is a little easier and further away is a little bit harder. We're gonna interlace your fingers back behind your neck and send your elbows out wide. Now, if this is too much, you're welcome to stay with just what we were doing before. Otherwise, take an inhale, lower back down, belly button in. As you exhale, we're going to lift your head, neck, shoulders up, lift your right knee up, and we're going to send your left armpit towards your right knee, so twisting towards that right side. Inhale, we lower everything down. Exhale, lifting up, left leg twist towards the left. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift right. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift left. Inhale, lower. Beautiful. Keep going like this. If you want to make it a little easier, uh, you can bring the outside edge of the hand to the outside edge of your leg instead of twisting all the way. So it's still a little twist, a little lift, but not quite as much. Nice. If you want to make it harder, we exhale, lift up, inhale, lower the foot down, but just bring your head, neck, and shoulders back to center, so head is still lifted. Exhale, twist, inhale, center. Keeping that lower back down, let's go for four, three, two, and last one. And relax. Nice work. Hug your knees in. Little rock. Killing it. Okay, next we're going to roll over onto your tummy. We're going to stack one hand on top of the other and bring your forehead down on top of them. Ideally getting as much of your chest down on the mat as you can, but you can create a little bit of space for yourself if you need that. I'm going to keep my head lifted so I can talk to you, but try and keep your head down on your hands as much as you can. Okay, take, excuse me, take a big breath in. Breathing out, we're gonna squeeze that belly button in towards your spine. Imagine squeezing the belly button all the way up off the mat, so really engage your core. Keeping this feeling with that belly button squeezing in as you inhale, we're gonna lift your right leg up off the mat. Exhale, we bend it. Inhale, we straighten it. Exhale, lower. Nice, other side, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower. Beautiful, keep tummy squeezing in, right leg, inhale. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. Left leg, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower. Doing really well. Keep that tummy squeezing in. Slow, controlled movement. Each time you're straightening that leg, trying to really get it as straight as you can. Energy all the way down to your toes. 
lifting it up nice and high once more on each side. Keep that tummy squeezing in. Last one. And relax. Bring one ear down to the mat, take a little rest. You can give your hips a little wiggle from side to side if it helps release through your lower back. We're going to do one more exercise like this. So take a deep breath in. Forehead down to your hands. Exhale, squeeze your belly button towards your spine, really squeezing it in. Keep that feeling and then inhale, we lift the right leg up. Exhale, we bend. Inhale, flex your foot and we're doing three pulses up. Pulsing one, two, three. Point the foot. Straighten the leg and lower. Nice, other side, inhale, lift, exhale, bend, inhale, flex, exhale for one, two, three, inhale, point, exhale, straighten, and lower, beautiful. We're gonna make it a little harder, so keep that belly button squeezing in. Inhale, lift the right, exhale, bend, flex the foot, pulse for one, two, three, tummy in, inhale, point, Straighten, bend it again, flex the foot, pulse for one, two, three, one more time, point, straighten, bend, flex, pulse for one, two, three, and point, straighten, and lower, nice, did you keep your core engaged? I hope so, keep that tummy squeezing in, left side, inhale, lifting it up, exhale, bend, Inhale, flex. Pulse for one, two, three. Inhale, point. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, flex. Pulse for one, two, three. One more time. Point, straighten, bend, flex. Go for one, two, three. Point, straighten. And lower, nice work. All right, from here we're going to press yourself up to all fours and then bending your knees, sitting back on your heels, coming to your child's pose, stretching out your back. Nice work. All right, coming up to sitting. We're gonna do a couple of stretches for your spine to finish up going through a spinal flow. So coming to a seated, comfortable, a comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. For me, it's cross-legged. You can sit on your heels, you can sit on a chair, whatever works. So from here, take a big inhale, sitting up tall. And as you breathe out, starting to walk your hands forward, folding down, letting your head and neck relax and pressing your sit bones down into the floor. And then bringing nose and arms across towards your left knee. And then leaving your left hand or left elbow down, we're gonna lift your right hand up coming to a side bend. So reaching up and over, feeling that stretch through the right side of your body. And then from here, right hand comes down to your left knee. Right hand is going to go down, sorry, left hand is going to go down behind you. And we're looking over your back shoulder in a gentle twist. And then right hand comes back as well. Open your chest up towards the ceiling. And if your neck feels comfortable, you can let your head slightly rock back. Little tiny back. If the neck isn't comfortable, just bring chin in towards your chest and think of lifting up through your upper back and your chest, squeezing shoulder blades together. And bring chin back in towards your chest. Left hand comes across to right knee, looking over that back shoulder, gentle twist.
and then bringing the right hand down, the left hand comes up and over, coming to that side bend. Nice big stretch through the left side of your body. And then from here, both hands coming down in front of your right knee. Nose comes down to the knee. And then one last time, bring your hands down in front, folding forwards. And then starting to come back up to sitting. Well done everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. As always, any questions, comments or criticism is always welcome, so feel free to message me or leave a comment. Um, otherwise, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.